Matt will not forgive the renegades for that. <laughs>
Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. <laughs>
Old man knows what he's doing. No, Mr. Stop. And uh, what did they serve yesterday? Halt! Biomarker. Ah, oh, you again. You don't recognize me? Ah, the guy with Matt's orders. Bravo. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field, always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. Not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. That's all I got for you. Tied of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on it. Morning, In a year, you'll be addressing me as corporal. Hard as you work, you'll be promoted sooner than that. Then, two or three. Hey, where's dispatch? There! All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. We'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. 
You know that. You'd be free to do some honest work. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. What do those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh. This again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Aider's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Don't Summon the medics. Boy. We have to save him. Hang on, Aitor. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Aider survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage. And instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. 
Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. I think I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Juan would rather enjoy his caviar than take care of that lamp delivery. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Oh, will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor. And the guy who needed a salve for his hernia and... <sighs> what else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. There'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! What does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers. When they could be helping people. Then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. 
worth less, far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life. But took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
Electricity when they generate their own. How's your day going, Abigail? Ah, give me this rest. Just have that dream again. We're <clears throat> Renegades attacking the canteen now. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, 
What's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from him! I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Hey, you seen the Quartermaster anywhere? Knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador, it can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the Butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. 
Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Aiden, what do you want, son? These renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's gonna be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it, destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. How do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. 
Wait, wiped out? You mean every last Night Runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up. Drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? For Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now oh, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Matt will not forgive the renegades for- And the Juan? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. <laughs> Jack. It's a time on 
Well, hello, boys. It's him. It's all because of you, you bastard. You were supposed to get us out of town. Yes, and then you let yourselves get caught. You tricked us. Okay, Joe, come on. You'd look after your own ass if you were him, too. You'll have to excuse Joe. He went through a lot. The peacekeepers have methods for people like us. They say there's no electricity, but somehow they manage to find a battery they can connect to your balls. Shut... Shut the fuck up, Jack! I'd invite you in for tea and remembering old times, but you're the one who got us in here. So get the fuck out and let us rot in peace. That's right. Fuck off. I'm sorry it turned out that way. Sorry? And what do we do with your sorry? What, 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 what do you mean, what? Joe, you dumbass. The pilgrim could still save us. Well, actually, how did you get here? Funny story. Oh, not to everyone. So they lead us to the bazaar, probably to hang us. We enter a narrow street. I sense an opportunity. I hit one on the head, the other on the balls, and walk. Meanwhile, Joe got stabbed in the butt with a pitchfork. Couldn't sit for three days. I told you, shut your mouth! Okay, don't be such a delicate china. <laughs> we went through the tunnel to the center. You know, with all the different perspectives and possibilities there. And what do we see? PK corpses. Man, there were so many of them. I say, let's take their uniforms and put them on so we can blend in with the crowd. And suddenly, one corpse starts to move. I look at it, and it's Ator. Boy, did I start to run. That's when the Blue Boys grabbed us and said they wouldn't let it slide. We were caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. As usual, our fucking luck. What's it gonna be? Will you help? How could I save you? We're dehydrated as hell in here. They won't give us anything to drink. Well, I can take it, but Joe? Mm. Help ease my friend suffering. Be human. I'm guessing this isn't about clean water. We're yearning for moonshine. Killian. Oh, Killian ran the best. We had this bottle saved for a rainy day. Yep. Killian's legendary moonshine. The gas trip butterfly. You wouldn't bring it to us, huh? <sighs> Fine then. Where is this moonshine? <laughs> it's in a safe in a water tower in Old Villador. The code to the safe is 14... 14, 8. No, not 8. I think 9. <sighs> what the hell, Jack? The code is the year America was discovered. Take it easy, Joe. Take it easy. Oh, yes, exactly that year. Just as we discovered Killian's moonshine, someone once discovered America. Oh, yeah. Okay. You'll definitely handle it, Aiden. Okay. The year of the discovery of America. I'll remember. Just hurry up, will ya? Who knows what time our farewell party's been scheduled for.